What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are actually at Taco Bell to try a new burrito that they have out. Now I did a Taco Bell mukbang not that long ago and they did not have these new burritos out but I believe they were testing them in certain locations. I know Charlotte, North Carolina had them. I'm not sure if anywhere else did but we are going to be trying the Salsa Verde burrito. It says it comes with grilled marinated all white meat chicken seasoned rice green sauce reduced fat sour cream and three cheese blend wrapped inside a warm flour tortilla now the only thing I'm confused on is where the other burritos are because I couldn't find much information on these but I swear more than just one burrito was released so I'm not sure why they're only releasing this one where I'm at or if there are others I'm gonna double check the menu but let's see Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Um, can I do the salsa verde grilled chicken burrito? And then can I also do a large Mountain Dew Baja Blast? All right, whatever you all see now. Um, can I also do a side of the avocado sauce, please? Okay. And that's going to be it. 533. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, it says they have a Chipotle Ranch grilled chicken burrito, but I swear I've already tried that one. I'm like 99% positive I had that in a video a long time ago. And I'm not talking about my most recent Taco Bell mukbang. I'm referring to a video where I tried a bunch of the $2 burritos. I'm pretty sure the Chipotle Ranch was one of them. So I don't know, but if you guys know more about this, let me know in the comment section. Cause like I said, I couldn't find much information on these burritos, but I'm very excited for some Taco Bell. I get excited when it comes to Burger King, but Taco Bell, I am just so ready for. I also have like a list of things to talk to you guys about. I know I didn't get that much food, but yeah, we have a lot to discuss you guys. Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? Okay. Thank you. I think we want a cup of water. I think the avocado sauce is going to be really good with this burrito because of the green sauce. Thank okay. you. You too. The green sauce is salsa verde. And I feel like it goes really well with avocado. When we make tacos at home and we use salsa verde, I like putting avocado on my tacos. So I think that is gonna be a really good combination. But I have to show you guys my cup because I am so excited about it and it makes me so freaking happy. One of my lovely viewers here on YouTube told me about the Stanley Cup for a Christmas gift and so I got one for Gabe and then I liked his so much and he loves his Stanley Cups. So I was like, I have to get me one now too. So it's 40 ounces, it's freaking huge and I love it. It makes me so happy. I love drinking out of it. Gabe uses his for sweet tea and water. I've just been using mine for water. But if it's so much, well, yeah, I just said it's 40 ounces. <laughs> so obviously it fits a lot of water, but I love this thing so much. Okay. Here's our Taco Bell bag. I apologize, I forgot the we secured the bag thing, but I'm still kind of sick. I feel a lot better, but I got the sniffles so bad. Like my sniffles have gotten so much worse. And it's just like, dang, <laughs> I'm ready to get over this. Okay, here's our Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Oh, I don't think anything hits harder than this. Like, this hits so hard in the best way possible. <laughs> so good. Okay. Got some napkins. We got our avocado sauce, which, like I said, I think it's gonna be really good on the burrito. And then we have the burrito. So I think I only paid like $5 for the large Mountain Dew Baja Blast in the burrito. That's probably the cheapest amount of money I've ever paid in a video. <laughs> I 
Hey, it looks really good. Has a nice toast to it. Let's get a thumbnail. Okay, got a thumbnail. Let's take a bite of this burrito. I went ahead and got some of the avocado sauce on there. Ooh, that green sauce. Very flavorful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is really, really tasty. The green sauce mixed with the sour cream is a really yummy combination. So probably give this a nine out of 10. I almost wish I would have got it with the beef too. That way I could have tried it with the chicken and the beef to see how they compare to each other. But the chicken is really, really good. So <clears throat> if you guys are into football, you probably saw what happened at the time that I'm filming this, it happened last night. I'm filming this on a Tuesday. Last night was Monday. So Monday night football, the Bills game was last night. And Damar Hamlin, one of the defensive players, got hit really hard. And he went into cardiac arrest. It is just like the scariest thing ever when you see the hit. Gabe and I were watching the game when it happened and as soon as it happened you saw him get hit and you saw him fall and he just like passes out but you didn't actually know what happened in terms of like is he okay and it was so scary and then well I found out today this morning that he went into cardiac arrest and I just think it goes to show how scary football is like I love football I play fantasy football and I love fantasy football but when you see how often your players get hurt it just makes you think like dang I don't know it's just like the game is so so dangerous and I feel like a lot of people always say Oh, I want to have a whole football team of kids. I want to have a bunch of sons and I want to have a bunch of football players. But I could not imagine what you go through as a parent having an athlete as a kid. And it's not just football. I mean, lots of athletes get injured and it's just really scary. But in this particular situation, it's especially scary because if you if you watch the hit he gets hit so hard in his chest and hits like that happen all the time. So I was like, I, it's crazy. I mean, thank God it doesn't happen more often, but I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often because players get hit really hard all the time. And I could not imagine like putting my body through basically physical torture like that. It's just so scary. So. Yeah. Prayers to him and his family. And his mom. When I was in high school. I was dating one of the football players. And he was a running back. And I remember one game he got hit. Really hard. And. He had to be taken to the hospital. And I was his girlfriend of a few months, so we weren't even, like, close like that, you know? And I just remember being so terrified and upset, so I couldn't imagine what it would feel like to be the mom. And seeing your son get hit like that and go into cardiac arrest is just so scary. But yeah, it's really scary. Um... I mean, it'd be scary for any team, but I'm a big Bills fan, and so, I don't know. It's just, it was just crazy. And they're still, it's like an ongoing thing. They're going to release updates, 
as it happens but I just really hope he's okay and he survives because you never want to see an athlete die playing a sport that they love and that they're doing for entertainment of other people Ugh, truly heartbreaking <clears throat> man I wish I would have got two of these burritos I just thought one would be enough but I did this detox over the weekend <laughs> and I really cleared my stomach out and I was like let me take it easy after doing that detox but it's so hard it's like I just want to eat everything <laughs> Also, I got scammed. I got gently scammed. And I say gently because it wasn't like a... I feel like I'm really low. It wasn't like a catastrophic scam or anything, but it happened over the holiday break. I was buying stuff for Mello because, of course, I have to get Mello a bunch of gifts. And I saw this Instagram ad for these cute little doggy sweaters and they were like luxury inspired. So there was like a Gucci sweater, a Louis Vuitton sweater. They had a bunch of different luxury sweaters though and they were so cute. Obviously they weren't real, but like a lot of people make designer inspired items. Like anyone with a screen printer or an embroidery machine or something like that can make up designer inspired logo on clothing. So obviously it wasn't a legit sweater, but I figured what they were selling was actually what they were showing in the picture. So I bought him this adorable green Gucci sweater. I'll put it up on the screen, the one that I try to buy. And the thing is, is that I've been looking for a green sweater like that for Mello. I don't even really care what the design is. I mean, as long as it's something relatively cute. I just wanted to get him a cute sweater this color, right? Um... It was $35, no, 45, it was $45. So I buy it, I bought it like December 11th. Their website promised shipping by Christmas. So it was supposed to get here by Christmas. And then like a few days before Christmas rolls around and I still hadn't received a tracking number yet. So I reach out to the company and I'm like, hey, I still haven't received a tracking item for this number, is it gonna ship? If it's not gonna ship by Christmas, I want a refund. Oh, also the name of the company is Beverly Hills Pup. So if you see Beverly Hills Pup, do not buy it from them. <laughs> so after emailing them, I get like all these like automated emails from them saying like, oh, we apologize for the delayed shipping. We just started this company. We didn't realize how popular it was going to be. But thanks to y'all's kind support, we've gotten so many orders and we've ran out of stock, but we're getting more from our suppliers and basically saying it's going to ship soon. And that they're going to expedite it and it will be here by Christmas. And they're like, we're shipping Thursday and Friday. You'll get it by Christmas with expedited shipping. So I was like, okay. I'll wait until Friday. So Thursday, Friday passes. Saturday's here. I think it's like the day before Christmas. And I still hadn't gotten a tracking number. And I email them again and I'm like, okay. I still haven't received a tracking number from you guys. I just want a refund. Dead silence. They were sending all these emails about how I'm a valued customer, they appreciate my support, and they're just this small family business and they're gonna ship it soon. But then once I say, okay, I definitely want a refund now, they never email me back. So I'm just like, yeah, I got scammed. <laughs> this is definitely a scam website, which I know a lot of scam websites pop up 
around Christmas time and the holidays because everyone's shopping, so they're trying to capitalize on that. Mm. I was so mad. Mm. Sorry, I had to restart my camera. But anyways, I ended up reaching out to Apple Pay and I tried to get a refund through them, but I had bought it through a credit card through Apple Pay. So they're like, we'll open a ticket for you, but just contact your credit card company. So I have Discover and Discover is great. I love Discover. So I contact Discover and I tell them everything that happened. Luckily, they were able to give me a refund. God bless them. But, um... They're like, if this company ends up being able to provide proof that they shipped it to you and you received it, then we'll have to take the refund back. So in my head, I'm just like, surely there's no way they can show fake proof that they sent it because I never even received a tracking number. And I'm like, surely they can't forge a fake document because some way there's going to have to be a way to prove that I never got it or it never shipped, you know, I would think at least. So, luckily I got a refund. Moral of the story, do not buy through sketchy Instagram ads. Because <laughs> I feel like anytime I'm on Instagram, I always get those ads from these random websites advertising really cool stuff, honestly. Like, the stuff is enticing. And I'm really sad I never got, got the sweater. But I should have done more research on the company because... When all this was going down and I realized I wasn't going to get the sweater, I ended up going to their Instagram and their Instagram was just random pictures of dogs. Like they didn't even advertise any of their products on their Instagram. It was all just pictures of people's dogs wearing not even the clothing that they were selling. And then I also found another website selling the exact same clothing. So it was a different name of the website, but all the advertisements for the clothes and like the products that they were selling were all the same clothes so i'm just like yeah these are all just scam websites trying to capitalize on holiday shopping and get money from people but surely they receive a lot of chargebacks i mean i'm sure there's a lot of people out there with a lot of money who just like shop and we finished our burrito by the way i'm sure there's a lot of people who just shop and if they don't get the item, they're probably too... They probably just have so much money, they don't care to, like, get a refund. I'm not that way. No. I don't care if it's $45, $4, or $400. I'm getting my money back. <laughs> and $45 is, like, a tank of gas. A little bit more than a tank of gas right now. So I was like, yeah, I'm getting my money back. But I would think that they get quite a few chargebacks. You know? Because it's just, like... Yeah. Okay. I kind of want to go get a pistachio drink from Starbucks. So should we do that together in this video? Because all I ate was a dang burrito. And I'm kind of like, ooh, so... <sighs> Sorry, I'm turning my car on. I don't think I'm going to do a separate video for this. So maybe we'll just go to Starbucks really quick. They have a new pistachio cold brew. And they also have... I think the returning red velvet loaf cake. I don't know if I'm going to get that, but... Let's go get the pistachio cold brew. I'll see you guys over at Starbucks. All right, you guys, have made it to Starbucks. I'm pulling up to order right now. Hopefully they have this drink. I'm pretty sure it came out today. Hi, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi, um, do you guys have the new pistachio cold brew? We do, would you like that? Okay, yeah, I'll just do a tall. Okay, bring that in for you. Anything else for you? Um, I think that's going to be it. All right, that's going to be 507 at the window. Okay, thank you. Okay, I just got a tall because I'm trying to take it easy on the caffeine since I'm still sick right now. I've been drinking a lot of tea and the tea has been helping, but I think I read somewhere that whenever you're sick, you shouldn't consume too much caffeine. And I want to say the Mountain Dew Baja Blast has caffeine in it right from the Mountain Dew. I don't think it has like a ton of caffeine in it. But I know there's some caffeine and I'm just like, yeah, let me kind of take it easy. Oh man, 
the Stanley cup really is a lifesaver though. I love my Starbucks cups, but I always run out of water in the Starbucks cup when I'm filming like my mukbangs and stuff. So this is going to be nice to have. Love it. Hey, how's it going? Good. Good. You scanned it, right? Yep. Okay, thank you. You have to go. You too. All right, you guys. We have our little Starbucks pistachio cold brew. Let me park really quick and then we'll try this together. Okay, here we go. I'm excited to try this because they've never had this before. I think last year they did bring out a pistachio latte, but the pistachio cold brew is totally new. So, cheers. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Their sweet cream, not, well, I guess this technically isn't sweet cream, but I'm assuming it's like a pistachio cold foam. Their cold foam in general is just so good. And I like in the tall, you actually get a lot of cold foam. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I'm gonna have to get this more. Usually my go-to drink is a shaken espresso with oat milk sub toffee nut for the classic. It only comes out to like five dollars, but this is delicious. I'm gonna have to get this more often. Mmm, love it. Okay, so new items at Burger King in two days. So my next video will probably be Burger King, which I'm so excited about. You guys know I love Burger King, so I'm excited for that. But don't worry, I have some fun and exciting videos coming. I'm just trying to get past this sickness so that I'm not out and about too much. But they're coming. Don't worry. But I love you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed seeing me try the new Taco Bell burrito and trying this new drink from Starbucks. Very delicious. 1010. Recommend this. And also the burrito from Taco Bell was very good. But if you enjoyed this video, please drop a thumbs up down below. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.